going back to the candle conversation, right? If you could give any, you know, it could be status, somebody that any celebrity, we can say celebrity, we can say artist, basketball player, rapper, girl, female, whatever, uh, any celebrity status with a higher status, who would you want to promote and who would you want to sell your candles to? Like as a client, like as a client, mm. and who you know what I'm saying, like, like who would you want, who would you want to sell your candles to that be like, oh yeah, they rep they represent sentiments. Like, who would you if, if, if they was right in front of you, you know what I'm saying? I know that sounds it's kind of all let me redo the no you no know, I know what you mean. I know what you, know what you mean. Uh, do I do I I can only pick one? Okay. No, you pick multiple. Go ahead. Okay. Uh let me let me get a second. I gotta think. Who would you say who would be the your ultimate sale? You'd be like, man, I want to sell to this candle to this person right here. They can be a regular person too. All right. Uh if I sell it to a celebrity. Mm -hmm. I got to go, I guess, with one of my favorite rappers outside of Pat Brady. Uh, I got to go with my man, Dom Kennedy, first of okay, all. Okay, okay. Got to hit you with the vibes, uh, you know. What smell you going to give him? What smell you going to sell him, though? Well, like, so here's the thing. Like, I, I he, he got a song called Palo Santo. And so, like, I, I think I might have to make a, I think I had to make, make, make a fragrance and, and hit him up Ooh. and be like, hey, let's do this. You know, let's do this. I don't know if you throw that idea somewhere else, but it's on Marvelous Bus right now. He said at 3940, Don yeah. Kennedy. Y'all, you hit. I gotta I get I gotta get a smoker or somebody just because I need I need someone with with, with that that'll have some opposition, you know, like smoke, you know, some some smells around. Mm -hmm. I, I, need, I, need, I need someone with like, hey, this will break it up. So I I, I gotta hit currency. Okay, okay. You know, I gotta get the hot spitter. You know, I got hit him up, you know, like, yeah, he, he you know, like, just, just had that in the song, like, he in the room, light, light a sentiments candle. Mm -hmm. like, like, you know what I'm saying? I, like can, I can literally see, the like, when they shoot the video, just coming in with the candle. See? You know what I'm saying? We yeah. speaking it out right now. My sentiments, sentiment candle company will be in either a video or at home. Don Kennedy, the, he going to be pushing it because I, 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 I'm I speaking it out now, bro. That's dope. Wow. Yeah. Or maybe like a scissor or somebody, you know? Yes. Just, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, baddie, she come with her friend. Yes. Give them all candles. Give them all candles. Give them all. <laughs> Give all the baddies candles. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, okay. That's some that's some good ones right there. So, yeah. so, speaking of, you know, you mentioned rappers. You started with rappers. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm the GOAT, but this year, it's going to be a lot of tours. I'm seeing a lot of tours pop out. It's 2023, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's back on the road somewhat, you know what I'm saying? Like, doing their thing. So, who who are you going to see this year? What tours are you interested in? Is any tours you interested in this year you saw? I, I haven't really even been paying attention, to be honest, re recently. Okay. Yeah. So um, Future's on tour right now. Okay. Yeah, I... I had a chance to see Future, but you know what? I, I was I was feeling... I was asleep. I didn't know. One of my friends, she called me. Shout out to my to my to my to my, to my girl Peyton since since college. Like hey, that. Okay. So uh she 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 called me, but I didn't answer. I was asleep. Uh woke up the next day. I was like, my bad, you know, sleep. She was like, uh, oh damn, I had an extra future ticket. You I just want to I was like, damn. She had a she had the hit, bro. Have you seen Future Live? I've seen him live through Drake, but the problem was Drake, it was a Drake. Featuring a little bit of future concert. It was when um that the the, the, the little mix to the album joint came out with uh with uh Jumpman and all that came out. You know they said word in the street future mad about that. He said he mad about was, the new collab album with 21 Savage. It was it was it was it was Drake featuring 21 Savage. Hey, you know, like 21 barely had his stuff on there, and like the stuff he did, it didn't really help. I'd be mad too, because future was actually going like Song for song, they were going song for song. I, I, I will admit that. So you miss Future Hendrix, but you saw Future Hendrix before. You feel mm -hmm. me? And one thing I can say about Future, when I told actually on the last Blunt Talk I talked about, I saw Future live at the Jiffy Lube, something somewhere one of them little outside mm -hmm. joints. Yeah. And I remember that yo, he did three sets. So he'll do. He'll give you a show. When I say. He had the that was I only seen him once. I was like, dog, this nigga turned up. Oh my god. I'm like, every little hit, and then I didn't realize how many features future was on. That's you forget. 
He had, uh, all of a sudden, we sitting there. I'm talking about this is the beginning of his set. One of my favorite future songs. All of a sudden, he hit my fingers. They itching. They itching for that paper. I'm like, I'm talking about everybody in the crowd like, oh. I said, he takes me. I hear that in a minute. And, and when it got to like the newer stuff, I don't listen to new future. I think it all, once I've listened to one future song, I listen to it all. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Um, But I, I saw my right. two god sisters. When March Madness came on, I love them both dearly, but I tell this hey. story. Bruh. It was concrete. They were both on their knees, popping. I just like I was like this. I was like, "Well, a baby bitch," and I looked to the left, and they were just like on hands and knees. I'm like, "Future Hendrix." I'm like, "It's the, bro." I never seen women go crazy when March Madness go on. I was like, "He like fuck on a baby bitch." We gonna wake up with mugging with money, bro. I'm oh. like, "Oh, let me stop for they copyright me or something." But, bro, Future back, I, I don't know if you really listen to his stuff now, but I just feel like back in the day, he was just really hard to me, bro. No bull. It was, it was, it was you know, I don't I don't want to, I hate I hate doing this, comparing it, because now we have more to go off of, but, like, you know, it's, it's kind of, I guess you would say it's kind of the same, where mm -hmm. he's not trying as much anymore. Or he's not trying. He's not trying, bro. He's be throwing, he just be throwing albums out. And like every once in a while, he'll have a nice song on an album, like, don't get too, like, too comfortable. Like, that's my, mm -hmm. that's, that's my song. I like that joint. I don't know if you heard it, but like that, that you know, it's new joint. Yeah, it's one of on on one of his newer, but like it, it's it's all the same, you know. It's just it's like no, it's no, it's no substance. But we we fuck we fuck with your future, but you know, I want, I want another Hendrix. Give me another Hendrix album. I want another Hendrix album because that Hendrix, I, I I you know, I'll be sometimes I'll be in the I'll be in the crib cleaning, just singing that joint. I'll be making candle, just singing that joint, singing Fresh Air. I know we're talking about yeah. tour, but my favorite future joint, bro, that monster changed my life. That monster tape changed my life. I was like, I ain't rock with future like that, but I remember I downloaded that joint. I remember the day I downloaded joint. Spin Roller, shout out to my man. I'm not going to incriminate him because I was getting drugs from him. I met him at Gary to come get it, and future, it just literally downloaded when I got it from him. So I got on the 70, and I was like, I pressed play shuffle. And all of a sudden, that motherfucking, I'm a monster on these hoes. I'm a monster. I was like, I said, this is the same future I was going on back in the day. I said, oh, this car going in. So, so you didn't like turn on the light? I that didn't was my joy back in the day. I told you, only two songs I liked from future was at the, bruh, because I was mm -hmm. selling dope on the yeah. phone at the yeah. same yeah. damn time. That was yeah. that was yeah. Yeah. That doing That, that was should have won <laughs> Nobel Prizes. But um, monster. That, <laughs> but go ahead. What you saying? I was about to say back to concerts and stuff. I did go see Kendrick Lamar in August. How was it? Uh, it was great. It mm -hmm. was. I've, I've seen him. I've seen him actually a couple times because that's that. I think he, I think he's the best. Yes, yeah, yeah, so you got to check him out. I I yeah. haven't seen Kendrick. Dang, who that? Dang, I don't know who the last person. I think the last. I don't know, bro. The last concert I might went to was Roll Loud. I saw Cardi, 21. I, I saw like, everybody. I feel like a lot of people, like, I, I'm not excited to even want to see these days, though. You know? One thing I can say when I about performance-wise, Cardi put on a show. Um, when it comes to tours this year, uh, I don't know if she's torn, but when it does come to tours this year, it, it like you said, I feel the same way you feel. I feel like... Who do I really want to pay to go see? I want watch West Side Gun. I'll go see West Side Gun and Griselda. So I, I I that's to my, my, okay. So my co-host on this show, uh, he's actually right here. He loves them. I don't listen to them, but are they dope? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I, I'm not here. I, I love it personally. It, it depends on what type of it, it's a different. It depends on what type of style of music you like, though. Like you know, everything's different. They they got yeah, that. Send it to me. Send it, send something to me like that you think is dope. And I'm gonna listen to it because I I I, bro, I see their name but never listen. Okay, okay, I got you. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, so Wayne is gonna be at the Fillmore. You now about the great, the best rapper alive, because the best rapper retired. You feel me? Um, but here's a twist: three hundred fifty dollars for the ticket. I don't know, bro. It only look. If this was the Capital One, 
I wouldn't care. But the Fillmore, I think it might be even better for because it'd be more intimate and it's fun. But that's a lot so? of money for the. It's a lot of money for the Fillmore. It's a lot of money in general. But I've <laughs> never seen Wayne, and I've never seen, and I know he gonna pull out some old st- that old stuff too. He, he not gonna remember Ooh, some of the stuff. He gonna bring that mixtape stuff out. Oh, <laughs> he gonna bring mixtape Wayne out. I'm about to kick you off this thing, bro. Before I pay three fifty to be in the uh, top, bro. See, I don't want to either, though. But okay, that's I didn't, know about that. I, I, didn't, I didn't think about it like that. Okay, so we got Wayne, uh, Key Glock. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like. I, I I wouldn't go to his concert though. He's dope though. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I I, I would go for the bass because that bass would be crazy. I got big rocks, but bro, he's like the, the. I definitely always gonna support him because rest in peace, dog. Paper route forever. So you gotta su- support him. People, too many people dying, bro. People dying, especially I, in DC. Oh my god! But um, okay. And the last I'm gonna talk about tours is Beyonce. Now I got women are in shambles right now. I've never seen so many women on the internet saying, "Please, please give me, please pay for my ticket, sir." I, I I'm gonna say something controversial. I'm, I'm gonna say a hot take, but it's blunt talk. So I'm gonna be blunt with you. I I, do. I don't, you know, she she's she done she doesn't do it for me. She's a great wow, amazing. wow. Like like I know, like she's great and amazing. Like I like a couple albums. I like her self titled album. Okay. I like four. Okay. Mm. I like I like I like some songs every once here and there. I like you know, but like I don't. She does. Mm. You know, but so like I wouldn't be more I would be more excited to see Rihanna than to see her. Ooh, see now for now me, so I just watching in. the Super Bowl is exciting for me. I'm like, oh, I get to see Rihanna. Like, damn, I, I wonder what she's about to do. Now I gotta step in. Beyonce is the goat. That means I, I, right. she will, I, look, I, I love, know because I've heard your hot take. That is the hot take I've been hearing for almost four years, and I think this is what it, I think this is what it is. I'm gonna get my opinion why I think about Beyonce. Why everybody is kind of like. I think that she has strayed away from singing. You mm-hmm. feel me? And more her songs are more rap or her talking and not really singing. But I do, I'm saying it right now. Y'all got Beyonce fucked up. She's better than Rihanna. All I can say is this. Can any of your artists, and this I'm, I'm in the beehive. So if can any other artists that you can think and sing, can they right now with go on tour and perform their tour for Hispanic speaking countries in Spanish. Drop slider. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's great. That is crazy. And look, and the fact that she's dancing the whole time. I'm not saying she's not amazing. I just don't think her her, her music doesn't resonate with me. It, 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 it definitely. I, you know? I, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here. I'm gonna agree with you because the new stuff I don't listen to. I'm I don't. Say, yeah, I'm gonna say it's like I don't. I don't want to. I'm not trying to even compare these two people to them uh-huh. either. But it's like Prince and Michael Jackson and Styles, and to to Beyonce and Rihanna and like you I know, like, Rihanna, I love Michael Jackson. I love Prince, Prince, my guy, and she, you know, she's more in that vein to me. Here's my hot take. I don't think Rihanna can sing. So. Ooh, because I didn't really think Beyonce used to be able to sing. I think she just started to be able to really kind of sing. Oh, 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 for real. Look, somebody told me the other day, man, she what? Man, she didn't go so to Beyonce. They would have got bigger than her and Destiny Child. No, they wasn't, bro. They wasn't. That's keep it a buck. I agree and disagree. I think the recent Beyonce music is the reason why people can argue that now because I feel like she used to blow with them vocals. In her old music, they mm-hmm. show her vocal. Cause B Day, man, me and Pop, we used to be cleaning the house to the left, to the left, man, <laughs> to the left, man, bro. When I was, I tell people this story all the time. One of my favorite concerts I went to in my whole life was a Beyonce concert when I was 14, 15 years old. I got dragged to the concert because um, my aunt like invited everybody, and and like you know, all right, whatever, I just go, whatever. It's, I'm not paying for it, so. Boom, it was Alicia Keys. I don't know what, it might have been younger. It was Alicia Keys, Keisha Cole, and Beyonce. One tour. Yeah, that's, a, that's a great concert. And this is when Beyonce, like, as you see, this is when Beyonce had yeah. over That's when Keisha Cole was singing, too. Keisha Cole opened. Well, that's she when she was hell singing. Of a job. I ain't know, bro, I ain't never seen so many women in there. I was, like, 14, like, mm-hmm. I was just waving my head. I was just like this. And then Alicia Keys comes on. She got the piano the whole time. Braids Alicia Keys, not Swiss Beast Alicia Keys. Braids. 
You don't know my name, Alicia Keys. Man, it is Beyonce. Bruh, Beyonce mm -hmm. was the best. She was performing her BDA album. It was the best concert I saw in my life. When she came out, it was like six strong cock niggas holding her in a thing. She just doing all that. And she just went right into the album. And I was just like, I'm sitting there like this. Actually, my aunt was like, Christian, mouth open. I literally like this. <laughs> I, I, okay, I, I, I can see that though. So my that. take on Beyonce will always be different because I seen it live. When look, when her tickets wasn't seven hundred dollars. Now, so we're gonna get on that. But I'm, I'm glad we talked about tour. So y'all see, it's gonna be a tour year. You know what I'm saying? And before you know, we about to you know close everything out. So I got some.